Welcome back, fourth graders. Today, we get to talk about the three words you see right on my screen. You see acute, right, and obtuse. Now, after we get finished today, there will be a link to a video below this lesson that will tell you a little bit more about these three vocabulary words. But before I explain the activity that we're gonna do with this today, we are going to write in our definitions into these three boxes. So if you could pause the video and create this chart on one piece of notebook paper, you will need plenty of room underneath it. So I would recommend using a full sheet of either notebook paper or paper you have um, just extra at home. So I'll give you a second to do that. Now I'm going to move into writing down my definitions for what acute, right, and obtuse mean. Now we are going to use these three words in accordance to measuring angles. That's uh, where we're taking these three words. So if an angle is acute, it is measuring less than 90 degrees. So I'm going to write that right underneath here. And if an angle is considered a right angle, it is measuring right at 90 degrees. And then if we take it to obtuse, that angle is actually measuring greater than 90 degrees. Now, if you need to pause the video again and get these written in underneath your new vocabulary words, then I'll give you a moment to do that. So now we actually get to take those three definitions and on this second sheet, you will see three different angles. And then you will also see our three different descriptions that we just wrote in. So what you get to do is to sort these three angles and these three angle measure um, descriptions, excuse me, these three angle descriptions and sort them into the three categories. Now, like I said in the beginning, you should have plenty of room um, below that chart. So if you need to pause the video and categorize these three angles and then these three descriptors, I will give you a moment to do that as well. Now my challenge to you, I know that this is only three different angles. My challenge to you is written right here at the bottom. It says to find an example of each of these kinds of angles within your own house, almost like a little scavenger hunt. So if you could come up with one or two examples for each of them, just as a fun little challenge for you and write those in your chart as well. Other than that, um, we miss you so very much.